Good afternoon, everyone. Dead Horse, Alaska, all-time record high, 85 degrees. Yet we jump over to Herschel Island in the Yukon and Comalcook Beach. Record temperatures there, 86 degrees. Comalcook Beach as well having difficulty with their weather station two weeks ago showing 45 below zero. Retreating glaciers expose large forests. Wide diameter trunks sticking through, not just in the Mendenhall Glacier, but the Exit Glacier as well. Full forest in that area 2,000 years ago, buried by the ice, it's a cycle. Full glaciation as well shows Alaska ice-free during the time. Jumping back 200 years, notice the hot red spot over Alaska. 6,000 years of time shows that it's definitely lower in temperature than it has been in the past. Winter forecast 2016-17 showing well below normal temperatures in that exact area. The story heard round the global warming world. Dead Horse Alaska record high 85 degrees. This is the area on the map. You'll notice it's right next to the Yukon. So we jump over to the Yukon due east of the exact location of the record temperatures yet they're showing their records well above 86.4 all those months june july and august had record temperatures higher than what was purported in alaska so that news story is null and void como cook beach two weeks ago showing minus 45 fahrenheit little problem with their temperature station up there looking back in the past to see patterns repeating if we look at 1838, even when Europe was at its coldest, Alaska still was warmer. 1816, look at the red hot spot over Alaska, even during the cold season in 1816, showing above normal temperatures there. That's a 200-year pattern. But when we look over the last 100 years, Alaska really hasn't changed its temperature very much. Five-year running average showing Alaska decreasing in temperatures. Alaska Climate Research Center showing decrease in temperatures as well. This brings us right into the 2016-17 outlook for cooler than normal across the entire Canadian Plains and Alaska. The 1800s warming followed by a cool period. A look at the last 6,000 years of temperatures across Alaska. Currently, we are cooler than it's been up there in the past as well as the Canadian Northern Territory showing the same. It's cooler now than the medieval warming period. Area 12A is exactly where the studies were. A bit wider out here for you. 14 studies showing that the modern Arctic temperatures are quite a bit cooler than they have been in the past. Full-blown glaciation. Alaska remained glacier-free. Medieval warming period, everywhere you see a red dot, Temperatures were warmer than today, around 1,200. The glacial retreat always makes the news. Glaciers are disappearing. Yet look what they have been finding under the retreating glaciers. Forests that were growing 2,000 years ago. Those are large diameter trees. Specifically, 1,800 to 2,000 years ago. Forests where there are now glaciers. What they're finding under the ice as well. It's not just the Mendenhall Glacier, but the Exit Glacier as well. So it shows those forests are wide ranging during that time. If you look at the ebbs and flows of glaciation across the Alaskan area, a statement by the National Academy of Sciences in 1975, the climates of the earth always change. They will doubtlessly continue to change in the future. But how large these future changes will be, and where they will, and how rapidly they will occur, we do not know. Yet suddenly IPCC is the all-knowing crystal ball 300 years into the future. Another anomaly, looking at the temperature pattern for the medieval warming period, 950 to 1250 AD. Notice Alaska shows cooler temperatures. And then we jump over to the Little Ice Age pattern from 1400 to 1700 AD showing cooler temperatures across Alaska. So wait a second, the medieval warming period studies that were done showing a warmer Alaska contradict these two here. It can't be cool in both periods. Something's wrong with this chart as well. 
coastal northern Japan, cooler than most of the past. Patagonia and Chile, decreasing in temperature, cooler than in the past. NASA manipulating temperature data up in Nook, Greenland. This is the before. Check out the after. They made that 1940s warm disappear. Jumping over to Reykjavik in Iceland, 1940s spike warmer than today, so they made it disappear. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. This warm in Alaska is nothing more than a pattern, and it is going to cool drastically if it follows the pattern it has in the past in the 1800s. This warm spike, and then a drastic cooling.